Welcome back everybody to Nomoria episode 5 and um, as per usual I have been doing some thinking what we should do next and uh, per usual I am kind of stuck in what this place will look like in like two, three, four, five, six years um, instead of um, planning for stuff that is close at hand what is really necessary to be done um, at this moment in time so um, as I've been speaking about before it's kind of uh, accelerating uh, the value of our assets but in the meantime not overdo it uh, until you get a proper military and we don't have a proper military so um, kind of um, or I really would like us to get um, like at least two but maybe three maybe four if we are really really lucky more um, gnomes in the next uh, when the next season arrives so um, I have been thinking should we expand should we grab this area should we expand should we grab this area should we uh, just uh, kind of stay cool and let things slowly move along um, and I have decided that um, the loom is soon done by the way um, but there is still two days uh, off for the next season so I think we will be doing some more mining and we are going to expand on this and we are going to uh, expand quite a bit uh, and see if we can find some uh, more coal, if we can find some uh, ore and actually going to have this stockpile not cater only for stone but for coal and for uh, metal ore as well if we if we're lucky to find any um, um, we are out of straw completely at the moment um, and I th still think that's a kind of a risk for our uh, jack um, pasture but um, Hopefully we will be fine. Um, so the loom is set up. Let's actually have that one. Uh, I need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And um, let's have a look at Big Brutal and let's go to Cloth. Uh, let's go to Ports of Cloth. No, we can actually keep that, but we will set up. Uh, new stockpile and have it only cater for anything clothy like
So one of our miners is probably, yes, having a nap. And for stupid reason this guy decides to dig uh, at the outskirts instead of opening up this one. So all the holders have to go all the way in, all the way back, and all the way out again. Um, Yeah, okay, so now they can path a bit more uh, easy, but we are not finding any ore, and we are not finding any coal. So this is a bit in vain still. Is a honey badger lurking around somewhere? Um, uh, so one and a half day until the next season. And our kingdom's worth is 3.7 ish. Might need to expand on this one as well. be very nice if we could find um, some metal and um, what we will find most likely would be copper or maybe maybe uh, some uh, small vein of tin but copper is what we are most likely to find first um, I think we will actually try to expand over to this side uh, whether or not we get any no new more new more more new more new more uh, nomads um, we could actually build one more thing when it comes to workshop and we could go for uh, either a training ground or prepare for trading or prepare for let's have a look at something else first stone cutting blocks uh, marble craft up to 50 um, some more coal we should have uh, maybe ah crap Workshop. Mm. Population, profession, weaver. Yeah, we do have two. Um, fair enough. 
Um, build workshop. You set up a training ground. Uh, agriculture, ramp up, up fell trees. Let's clear off a bit more space. Done. Let's mine out some more than Uh, build workshop. <laughs> Furnace, maybe. Furnace. Clear this one out. Nope. Well, uh, then we will go like this. Uh, day 11 out of 12. Need to expand this one a bit more. Stockpile. think we will expand this quite a lot I think not for the need of stone but um, I don't want to go silly patterns um, you know like making what you could do is making shafts going in different direction looking for uh, looking for ore and looking for coal. I think I'm just going to expand on this one um, like a big big square and um, we find something nice to do with it um, a bit later. And um, what we need to do is light up this area because I don't want to uh, spawn uh, something called golems that uh, spawn from uh, 
from stone. So there, there is uh, for us it would be a marble golem spawning from marble. Uh, if you find different kinds of stone, you would spawn uh, golems from that type of stone. Um, so let's build a couple of more torches. Let's actually put one in this corner. This corner this corner and down this way and uh, expand this one a bit more and mine out some more let's go slow and steady drink we are fine on food so um, it's no big big problem um, heaped on us uh, as of jet mm. and I have been thinking about farms we kind of need to do something about them in a couple of seasons because um, as I mentioned before this is a kind of a really basic setup we are going to rip these apart and uh, I do have a plan to do things um, in other ways uh, Found some more coal. I should get these um, torches set up. Be done. Yeah. I think we will not expand more on this level minus seven. We will um, move down one more level and try to do the same thing and see if we are uh, if we get more lucky with getting. Uh, Uh, getting any metal and hopefully they will uh, bring all this oh forgot one thing that I wanted to do and I want to go to this guy and I want to so he's doing the table for some kind of workshop Let's do wheelbarrow. Let's do it out of apple wood and apple wood sticks. One, two, three of those. And um, as I have mentioned in a previous episode, wheelbarrows are used to help out on hauling um, stuff um, 
and with the wheelbarrow they can grab um, more units at the same time and the furnace is set up let's make coal let's make it out of pine logs and craft and let's see that we always have 20 for a starter the thing is I don't think we have anyone set up for furnace operating and these should actually be in uh, alphabetic order because it's blacksmithing, wood carver, smelting, blocks, blah blah blah. Mason, stone carpenter, wood smelter, blacksmith, metal worker, weaponsmith, armor, game cutter, weaver, blah blah blah. Medic, engineer, machinist, spectable, coal potter, tailor weaver, kill cutter, weapon smith. Smelter. Blacksmith. Uh, woodworker, woodcutter. Now it has to be on the smelting, I think. Has to be we don't have anything anyone assigned to that. Uh what are you doing? You are a woodworker with some other stuff thrown into it you could do smelting as well I think that is under smelting and this one could do cloth and coal it's kind of a rubbish stockpile uh, but uh, anyway cloth and coal So let's dig down one more level then. Dig stairs down. Soon uh, we are touching four thousand. Big brutal. Let's see if we can remove. Yeah, we already remove blocks. We could also remove coal and cloth. 
because we have a new stockpile assigned for that. Two guys are sleeping. These guys have soon cleared off this one. This one is starting to get revealed. So let's. See what we can get on this level. We are more lucky when it comes to metal e stuff. And um, Butcher, sawmill, distillery, bone carver, kitchen. Uh, sausage we can't make, sandwich we can't make. Let's make loaves of bread than craft. Craft to twenty. Uh, Good. Yep. Yeah. So cloth stuff is getting moved over to this one. Uh, this one is holding cotton and this one is also for cotton. Um, so that tells me that we could actually do build storage bags. We only have two and they are holding the cotton stuff anyway. So let's have these two moved over to this one. So as you can see this is just about lit up. And I think it has to be lit up uh, to prevent... Oh yes! Copper, that should... Uh, yeah, we made a... well not a big jump, but we made a jump anyway uh, in uh, our kingdom uh, value, kingdom worth. Um, we actually got a bit lucky with finding a quite rich copper vein. So we are actually going to expand on this one pretty soon. Which also tells me that we need to uh, expand this one quite a lot because uh, the stone is stacked in sixty four piles, but coal. And uh, oh, you can see he's starting to use the uh, the wheelbarrow that we we built, and that will help out a lot in catering um, or or carting, not catering, uh, carting um, 
large volumes of stuff. So we are actually going to expand on this one quite a lot and we are going to build uh, torches to keep things nice and bright. Go to this one and uh, metal. Let's remove metal ore. That one could stay down under. So early morning, the last day of spring. Um, we are still lacking straw. We are doing good on food. We are good doing good on cotton uh, actually this one is starting to get really uh, filled up uh, let's have wheelbarrows yeah he's still doing the wheelbarrows uh, we will need to produce some more um, uh, crates, but that's no. Ah, well, it's kind of a hurry, but uh, again, not. Let's see how thing goes. Yeah, we are still finding copper. Mm. Let's keep it nice and easy. As you can see, as we expand, we are kind of in the need to uh, to get more uh, gnomes in. We are really lucky and finding more copper. We might uh, be able to touch. See how big this one is. Wall. This is a 42 by 42, so let's see if we have the time to expand this one to the same size. Let's actually kick up. Full speed. Stop pile. Yes. 
more copper, 4,000, yes! We are getting there. And um, if we get... Uh, uh, if we get enough uh, new more gnomes in the next wave, we will uh, actually start uh, the military thing. And for that reason, we should set up a military training ground. Um, the thing is, where should we put it? Because this place is mostly stockpiles. Uh, forest. Uh, and um, we are on the evening of the 12th day so we don't really have time to do a very quick super expansion either uh, mm. Because if we had the time, we would make an expansion for this area. Then we can start terraforming this part of the lake. And uh, we could kind of prepare for a... Uh, um, well, I'm debating um, where we should go next, but um, I'm going to keep that as a secret of mine because uh, I'm still uh, undecided where we should head off next. So let's hope that we get lucky and get like. I think two would be a fair number of extra gnomes. If we get three or four we would be really lucky and then we would will invest at least a couple of those into the military. So now we actually found quite a lot of um, well, not a lot, but um, we found some copper at least. Um, so we could start uh, some kind of military uh, armory weapon stuffy thing. Terrain, mine, wall.
Yeah, and uh, our first thing, maybe we found something in this level. Uh, this is uh, gems and it is sapphires. So, we are on the first day of summer. Uh, the game will save at sunrise I think and uh, then we will see if we on the first day of summer get any no more gnomes we didn't touch 5,000 unfortunately but um, we were pretty close anyway So, should we keep this a cliffhanger? Yes, I think we will. This game saves. Um, I will cut this episode and in the next one we will see if we get any uh, new gnomes um, ready to enhance our society. 436 3536 and save and pause so um i will leave that um for the next episode, we're still good on wood, we still have loads of clippings and seeds, we're starting to produce um, uh, bolts of cloth. Um, Pretty soon uh, we should get our next harvest of wheat so that we can feed our jacks and they will breed uh, pretty soon, hopefully. So um, see you in the next episode uh, where hold our thumbs, we will get our first migration wave or we will get disappointment um see you in that one and um this one is over bye bye